I um, I did Dominic Negus into the light book um, a couple of years ago now. Uh, I went and stayed at Dominic's house, and uh, we did a book called Dominic Negus into the light. Um, and when when we were talking, I said, "So I was aware of Dominic being in." Um, Danny Dyer's Deadliest Men, um, but I couldn't find the uh, the other documentary, which was called uh, Britain's Underworld. Um, I think that was it. So anyway, most nights I like to um, I watch YouTube, and I often fall asleep, listen to Jack the Ripper podcasts, or uh, just. Um, repetitive programs really <clears throat> and um, last night uh, some anyway I, I um, say so I watched this documentary and it was on I think it was towards the back end of 2005 and uh, the documentary which I'm gonna put in the link to this video always stuck in my head because it was um, it was a bit like Paul Sykes at large it was a bit like um, like fly on the wall, um, and it stuck in my head because it was so strong. It was a bit brutal. So last night um, I stumbled across it and I watched it, and uh, I remember talking to Dominic a couple of years, saying, "Dominic, where do I watch this documentary?" And he, even he couldn't couldn't find it. So, watched it last night. Um, any, anyone who wants to wants to find out for themselves, I'm going to put the link to YouTube for Britain's Underworld. I think it was on it was on Channel Two, 2005. Um, so, if you click on the link in the bio, this this will t take you directly to it. Um, the documentary itself is on for 30, 39 minutes, and when you watch it, you'll see you'll see what I mean. Um, very, very hard hitting. Um, and I was reading some of the comments last night on the people who watched it. It was only put on a matter of weeks ago. Um, and someone put, I watched this years ago and it stuck in my head. And um, that was that was exactly the same as me. I've just spoke to um, Rob Breton at Warcry Publishing. And I said, I've just sent the link and I said, watch it, this will stick. And I think that documentary was probably the reason why I did Dominic's book. Um, you know, he is, he is what he says on the tin. He's a big, scary bastard. Um, but he's, um, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, he's very likeable. He's, um, uh, he, and he's almost like a child trapped into um, this big grizzly bear's body you know when I when I stayed with Dominic for about five days if you walk into Dominic Negus's bedroom it's like walking into um, uh, a 12 year old paper boy's bedroom it's like he's a bit geekish and when I say that I, I, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy he's about uh, 280 mile away from me um, no, he's a lovely guy, Dominic. Um, but he's um, he is a bit geekish, and what I mean by that, if you walk into his bedroom, uh, there's like Star Wars figures. Um, he's obsessed with Star Wars. Um, he's obsessed with like um, baddies, like the Joker and um, like superheroes, you know. And um, if you, if you walked into his bedroom you wouldn't think it was a big six foot two grizzly bear, flat nosed, bald um, Neanderthal. You'd think it was like, um, like I've got a son who's 14 um, and Dominic's bedroom's very much like that. Um, hence the reason why I put in the book, in our book that I did with Dominic, Dominic Negus Into the Light. Um, he's almost like a little boy who's never grew up. Um, and you can't help but admire him um, when you spend a bit of when you spend a bit of, of company 
with him. He's um, he's very childlike. He's very innocent. Um, you know, he's kinda. When when you spend a bit of time in his company, you realise he's he's everything he says he is. He's loyal. You can trust him. He's uh, he's got good he's got good morals as Dominic Negus, um, but he's um, I would imagine a scary bastard if you um, if he had the hump. Um, but yeah, he, he's he's someone he's someone who um, I've always been interested in. And I first come across him uh, when did he fight Audrey Allison in 2002. So I first heard of him 2001. First heard of him. First, sorry, first took an interest in him 2002. So uh, almost 20 years now. And uh, I, I, I'm always um, how can I put it? I'm always greatly interested in the underdogs in life. I like people who are a bit wacky a bit eccentric, a bit different, a bit strange. Um, yeah, uh, I, I certainly would say Dominic Negus is massively understood. Um, you know, he's not, when you look at him, he's very scary. Um, but when you, when, you, when you spend a bit of time in his company for a few hours, you realise that there's nothing really to be scared about. Um, my father-in-law has a dog, a Great Dane. You must have seen uh, some of my videos last couple of weeks, anyone who's got me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And uh, the first time uh, I looked after Luna, which is short for Lunatic, she's this great big 12 stone Doberman, not Doberman, <sighs> what's it called? Great Dane. Um, and when I first met her, I was scared of her. And uh, and that's a bit like Dominic. You know, when I first come across him, I was a bit scared of him. When in actual fact, the more you spend time in his company, the more you don't have to be scared of him and you could just sit down and say, shut up, silly bollocks. He's like a big, playful kid. Um, he just wants everyone to love him. You know, and I think I think that's been um, definitely um, a side that people have probably uh, abused uh, because Dominic's quite vulnerable as well. He just wants everyone to, to love him. Uh, you know, we've all we all um, you know he's got his mental health problems, um, but he just so happens to be six foot two, ex boxer. Um, and as happy as a pig and as a pig and shit when he's when it happens to have a fight, but he, he's not a bully. But if, tr if trouble comes to him, uh, he's someone who uh, can adapt very quickly and will be very comfortable in that situation, um, even if he's fighting six men. Uh, so, so I, I like Dominic. Um, as I said, he's greatly misunderstood. Um, He's hard work sometimes. Um, and if you're watching this, Dominic, you are, you're hard work, although I love you. And uh, you very much remind me of my father-in-law's dog. So, um, so yeah, we, uh, anyone, guys, you've got to uh, do the book that myself and Dominic did. We did it a couple of years, years ago. Uh, and it's called Dominic Negus Into The Light. It's available from Amazon. Uh, on Kindle, I think Sean Atwood's going to put it on the audio book, uh, and you can buy it uh, from. We can buy it from Waterstones, eBay. Um, the the most easiest way I probably would say would be uh, to buy it from Amazon, uh, and it's next day delivery, and it's also a free delivery. Uh, I think the book is about eleven ninety five. Uh, I can't remember. I've done that. I've done that many. It's about the eleven quid twelve. 12 mark. It's very, uh, as Dominic would say in Cockney Slam, it's very, it's very muggy of me not to know the prices of my own book. Um, but uh, but yeah, listen guys, I've just rambled on here actually, uh, and it, it's it's a lovely day in Stokesley, North Yorkshire. Um, but anyway, yeah, going back to my point, 
you can buy Dominic Negus into the light from Amazon um, and it is next day delivery and if anyone wants to have a look at that documentary which I watched last night for the first time in about 16 years and it's always stuck in me it's always stuck in my head and I never even I never realized that you could watch it again you know I know I spent a bit of time with Dominic a couple of years back and uh, I wanted to watch it and I, I I thought he had a copy of it and he never but uh, yeah if you if you click on the, the bio in this video and it'll just click on you to Dominic Negus's Britain's Underworld I think it's called and it was on oh, 2005 and uh, yeah listen if you just watch that 39 minute documentary you fully grasp what I'm banging on about um, you know and as much as he's a big lovable bear and he's a big teddy bear uh, he's very scary when you watch that documentary um, <laughs> yeah you know, you watch it and you kind of feel sorry for the blow. Although he did, do, he did do a lot of. Um, I think he ripped Dominic's dad off with a large. I think it was like ten grand. You know, but you can't help but feel sorry for that guy when uh, Dominic Negus is gone. Radio Rental, which is Glas Glasgow slang for fucking mental. Uh, I'm gonna send it to uh, Sean Atwood. Actually, I meant it. I was telling um, Sean about this documentary when I got him on uh, the podcast. Um, but, uh, but yeah, listen, Dominic Negus, I've got lots of love for him, lots of respect for him. Uh, he's a character that fascinates me greatly. Um, if you think of David Attenborough with the monkeys, when he kind of creeps closer to them, the silverback gorillas, who are uh, six times stronger than the average man. And they're, they're very scary. Uh, that's what it's a bit like going to live with Dominic Negus for six days, uh, sorry, five days I think I had with him uh, and I threw up in Dominic's garden I turned up really appallingly I turned up hungover uh, and Dominic very kindly didn't beat me up uh, which I always owe him uh, I know I've I know I've tested his patience <laughs> but uh, I think Dominic kind of realized I wasn't all there you know there's a saying uh, you should never underestimate the predictability of stupidity um, yeah, and I threw up, or I was only in Dominic's house a minute or two and I threw up all over the front garden and I lived to tell the tale. Um, no, but jokes aside, uh, that's a true story as well, but uh, I do have a lot of love for Dominic. I do like to study him. Uh, he's greatly fascinating. Um, yeah, you know, I'm sure in years to come when he dies, they'll probably take his brain out and do um, do studies on it like they did with Rod Ronnie Cray. Um, but anyway, right, I'm going to stop rambling on. Click on the, the link, guys, and you'll see the bio. And if you also click on the link, um, that will take you to the Amazon book. So if you click on that, it'll take you straight to Dominic Negus's Into the Light book. Absolutely fantastic read. I should know. I've written it. If you're watching Dominic, big love. And uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. This is the War Cry publishing channel. Anyone who wants to get in touch with myself or Dominic Negus, there's a page on Facebook and that's called Dominic Negus Into the Light. Um, his first book was called Out of the Shadows. Uh, so we're gonna call, well, we call this one Into the Light and uh, uh, I think the last time I spoke to Dominic, we may, maybe even spoke about another book. Uh, that would probably get called something about stupid candles or some kind of light, uh, but I need to speak to Dominic. So thanks for your time, guys. Uh, from here in North Yorkshire, sunny Stokesley, uh, I will leave you. I'm off to do a, do a shitload of typing on Hartlepool book, uh, Hartlepool second book. Uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. God bless.